Hello everyone, my name is Glenn Savoy, I'm the MLA for St. John East, and I'm here with Cheryl Gillespie. Uh, Cheryl and I are here to talk to you to, today about the issue of prosthetic eyes in New Brunswick. Uh, Cheryl brought this issue up to me about a year ago, and we went to the legislature to try to debate uh, the need for helping folks who need assistance with the cost of their prosthetic eyes, because they need uh, regular maintenance and cleaning, and they need replacement. So I wanted to bring this video to your attention today so that Cheryl could tell you some of her story so that you could understand why this issue is so important for people uh, in her situation. And it's not just Cheryl, there are a group of people in this province. So before I forget, I want to take a moment and ask every one of you that if you can share this video with people in your social circles, that would be greatly appreciated. And if you would be so moved, if you could please contact the health minister to indicate your support for Cheryl's situation and other folks in this province, their situation with the cost of covering uh, their prosthetic eyes. And you can reach the health minister, his name is Victor Boudreau, and that's victor.boudreau at gnb.ca. So Cheryl, tell, tell the folks a little bit about yourself and, and how you came to need prosthetic eyes. about myself. Um, uh, personally, I, I am a piano teacher. I teach uh, music theory as well and I just finished my 30th year of teaching piano. That's my greatest joy and privilege to do that. Um, as far as uh, my health, I uh, lost my vision as a child. I was diagnosed with uh, juvenile rheumatoid arthritis when I was two. And with children, um, uh, the <clears throat> excuse me, the danger of um, uh, inflammation spreading to from your joints to your eyes is um, is a great risk, and that's basically what started my vision loss. And uh, so I lost my vision. Uh, I think when my vision was totally gone, I think I was nine. But it kind of went gradually uh, through the years. And uh, I did not need prosthetic eyes till I was in my adult years, uh, because yeah, over the over the years, um, any organ, whether it's an eye or or any other organ, uh, deteriorates over time and. That's what happened for me, and so when I was in my adult years, that's when I needed the prosthetic eyes. Okay, okay. So for those of you who are watching this video who may not know this or may not be aware, the province of New Brunswick um, has a program where some people in the province can get assistance with their prosthetic eye needs. So if you are a client of social development, um, if you're somebody who has private insurance, you can get help with the coverage for the care and the replacement of your prosthetic eyes. In Cheryl's case, she's a taxpayer. She's somebody who's gainfully employed, as you've heard, she has her own music business, a piano teaching business, and she needs help to be able to defray or offset the cost for replacing and the ongoing care for her prosthetic eyes. But currently, the province of New Brunswick does not have any system in place to help people. So Cheryl is caught in an area where she either has to quit her job and stop being a tax-paying productive citizen and go on social welfare, or she somehow has to be able to get private coverage, but because of her rheumatoid arthritis, uh, she can't get the private health care coverage that she needs. And this is a very serious issue. So again, for today, for this segment, I would remind you that if you would, please share this with all your social media contacts and also uh, please email Victor Boudreau at victor.boudreau at gnb.ca. He's the health minister and I would like you to let him know how important this is that the province of New Brunswick do what it can to help people in need of prosthetic eyes.